What's up, guys? It's your favorite QB coach, and give me six months of your time. I'll give you the best golf swing of your life. So welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we have another client before and after video for you. It's gonna be very special though, because it's going to be Hiroshi Sun's first before and after with Kiwi Golf Japan. So we have a lady golfer here. We're gonna be speaking mainly to beginner lady golfers here. If you're watching this, you're one of those people. Even if you guys are just a beginner golfer and you're a male, still watch this. There's some really interesting before and afters that have to do with the arm position throughout the backswing. Very, very interesting stuff, and let's go ahead and jump in. So like we said in the intro guys, this particular video, the main point is we're talking to you beginner golfers out there. Now this particular client is not necessarily a beginner golfer. However, some motions in her golf swing are definitely on the beginner level, specifically in the backswing. So I think this will be a perfect video to explain the backswing for beginner golfers. Now, to start out the video, I want to go look at the before swing and after swing first. Then from there, we're going to explain some common, you know, beginner backswing faults. After that, we're going to go specifically for this client and kind of take a look at her faults and exactly what we changed so you can see the before and afters more clearly. And at the very end, the best part of the video, we're going to be talking about the actual how much and wins, the feelings that we had to feel to be able to get these amazing results that you guys are about to see. So let me go play the before swing first. And then after that, we're going to get into the first main point of the video. So this is going to be the before swing over here. All right, really take a look at that back swing. All right, let's go take a look at the after swing over here. Wow, way different. All right, so first and foremost, congratulations, Hiroshi san. Very good job on your first before and after for Kiwi Golf Japan. By the way, guys, this was not my client, this was his client before and after, so great job. Now from here, Hiroshi san, we're gonna get into the common and or backswing faults. ま、<笑> この肩越しに見えたりとか右肘が背中側の方に行ってしまうっていうミスヒットにつながるっていうところが傾向として多いかなと思います。That's you guys out there. Lots of you guys doing that. So my personal opinion, I really much agree with what Hiroshi was saying. Really, when we look at amateur golfers, beginner golfers specifically, actually most of the time, the body movement is not so crazy. It tends to be kind of the hands, the arms, the club head movement that gets all over the place. But it, funny enough, a lot of you beginner golfers out there are searching for how to move the body perfectly, right? We know it because we're looking at the SEO and the search volume for the body is really high. And whenever you talk about the hands and arms, the search volume's kind of low. But the funny part is you guys should be focusing on the hands and arms because just like this client, a lot of you guys have what we call noodle arms, which just means the arms have no structure in them as you move them back. The wrists have no structure in them as you move them back. So the club head is moving all over the place. Everything's wobbling all over the place. So hence, you guys have really poor control over low point, face to path, angle of attack, everything that we want to control. That's typically what's struggling because you guys have the noodle arms, right? So now this next part of the video for this client specifically, we're going to start getting into the major points that we we're trying to change with the backswing. We're going to show you the before, kind of what was wrong. Then we'll also show you the after here on the right. So Hiroshi san, let's have you take over and go look at that. まず、まず、まず、
高さは手元の高さにしておいた方がいいよねっていうふうに推奨しております。次2つ目のポイントですでそうなってくるとこのまずクラブの向きでいうとこの腕との延長線上にしていきます。でそうするとこれもコッキングが入ったことによってまたこの位置に戻すこのタイミングを大きくしないとまた戻ってこないし。えー、そちらこのまま戻るかもしれないそのまま戻ってしまえば今度はまたそこの当たる打点のエラーっていうのにつながってきてしまうので、まあ、ここの動きをすごくまたご自身で調節しなきゃいけないってことになっちゃいますね。で今度3つ目です、えー、この肘が深くこう曲がりすぎてしまうとどうしてもやっぱボールに対してこう向こうとしてしまう動きが、えー、あったりすると、えー、まあリリリースにつながってしまうというふうに言われているので、まあ、この3箇所が結構その問題になるポイントじゃないかなというふうに So I'm just here to reconfirm exactly what Hiroshi just said, but I'm maybe going to add just a little bit more. I 100% agree. Whenever we get the club head height below the hands this much, you really got two options, right? You can keep that angle all the way down into the golf ball. You're going to hit the ball super low and you're going to have no height, which is actually kind of what she was doing. She was launching the ball really, really low. Or you're going to have to unleash that, right? Or uncock that a massive amount on the downswing and then be able to time that every single time, right? You know, I would much rather have to time a 20 degree uncocking than a 90 degree uncocking, right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. So the next thing that we're going to talk about would be the club head position at the top. I'm not even going to go into this one. I think Hiroshi did a great job. So all you have to know is don't add that extra variable to where you have to flatten a massive amount and then stop it. It's going to be difficult to do. Now, the one thing I did want to add to Hiroshi Sun's point was going to be about this elbow when it's really, really bent. For lady golfers, we tend to see this all the time. And what happens is they get so narrow, like he said, that it's going to early release because when your arms are narrow, it's difficult to keep the club head cocking amount up. So the club head is very easy for it to go down to the ground. So that's why you're going to get that early release. So you much rather want to have the arms wider and the cocking amount more on the downswing is much more the image that you should be doing. Especially if you're a lady golfer out there. Don't get the arms narrow and then uncock. We want to see the arms wide and then more cocking, right, in that transition area. Now, let's start to show you guys the after swing in a little bit of detail, kind of show you the differences between the two. And then we're going to get into the most important part of the video, which is how we actually did it. えー、なってしまう前になるべくその動きとして、えー、ちょっと劇的に、まあ、逆の動きを取り入れて、うんえー、タイミング的にこう変化させるというところが一つのやり方、えー、やった取り組みでしたなのでまず上げたところのトップのポジションというところを、えー、フォーカスして、まあ、そこにフェンとハウマッチっていうのを取り入れて、えー、ちょっと大げさにやってもらいました。So for you guys watching this on the membership site, I think the main points just like Hiroshi Sen did Really make sure that if you're struggling with this type of motion with the back swing, follow a very similar you know, starting point, peak point, hold point, how much that we did in the lesson with her, and you probably will get a pretty similar result. YouTube をご覧の皆様、ここまでありがとうございました。まあ、今日のまとめですと、まあ、今日の課題として、まあ、この方の課題としては、えっと、トップでオーバースイングになってしまう、えー、肘のポジションとかで悩まれていたというところで、えー、まあ、こいつのハウマッチとフェンっていうのを使って、まあ、そこの行く前に、えー、大げさな動きをしていただいてちょっと動きっていうのをちょっと劇的に変えれたんじゃないかなっていうふうに思っておりますまあなのでそのフェンとハウマッチの,そのタイミングとかっていうのが、えー、この動画で今日はお伝えさせていただいたポイントになっております Now if you guys are still struggling with your guys' golf swings well that's where the Kiwi Coach 6 month program comes into play Hiroshi-san over here just opened up his waiting list the spots are going very quickly he only has a few left But if you're one of the first 10 people to get onto the waiting list and actually take a lesson with them, you guys are gonna win a free lifetime Kiwi Platinum membership. We have over 260 videos on our site. If you didn't know that, you can get access to that for a lifetime for free and all the other videos that we launch on there. So you gotta be one of the first 10 people to sign up for the waiting list and then from there actually take a lesson and you can win that. Last but not least, if you sign up, you also will be entered into a chance to win a free nine hole lesson with myself and Hiroshi Sun. So make sure to go check that out. There'll be links down below. And other than that, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.